Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'm going to be talking you through the Broadcast Channel API in JavaScript. Um, so basically, this API allows you to send messages between uh, different browser contexts. So things like tabs, windows and iframes, as long as they're from the same origin. So, um, essentially, it's very easy to use and of course, um, by the same origin, I'm talking about the protocol, host and port. So as long as these three things are the same, you can communicate between different contexts using the broadcast channel API. So, let's go inside the text editor right here and begin inside the JavaScript by uh, creating a new uh, broadcast channel object. So, we can make a new constant here call this one BC short for broadcast channel equal to a new broadcast channel so now inside here within the constructor you pass in the name of your um, of your channel so we can say for example decode so now essentially we have um, a channel open right here called decode and then any other um, any other browser context of the same origin can then subscribe to this channel to receive or send messages and that's basically how it works okay now of course if you try to or if a tab tried to um, connect to this uh, channel that wasn't from the same origin then it's not going to work so we have the channel available so now we have to define two things we have to handle when messages get sent to this particular context and then of course actually um, how to post messages to the other um, context which are subscribed to this broadcast channel so we can say for example here bc .add event listener. we can say message as the event name Okay, or as the event type. Now, for the actual callback function, we're just going to uh, console.log here. We're going to console.log e. So, of course, e is an event object, which, of course, is um, the event of a message being received um, from this broadcast channel. Okay, and that is basically it for receiving messages. Very easy. We just say here, for example, handle incoming messages. Okay, so now to actually uh, send messages, okay, it's also very straightforward. We can say bc.postmessage. Inside here, we can pass in the object. So, we can see here, we can pass in almost anything. So, for now, I'm going to pass in um, a string. So, I'll say, hey, how's it going? Okay, and that is all it takes to use the broadcast channel API. So we're handling uh, message uh, uh, being received or messages being received and of course sending messages right here. So now I'm going to go back, uh, back into the browser. I'm going to refresh the page and now essentially uh, this context is all set up. So now I'm going to go inside um, a separate tab uh, with the same file. Okay. Now when I refresh this one, uh, we can see here of course the post message method is going to run. So, we should expect to see uh, this event listener um, or this, this, uh, this function right here being ran in the other tab. So, I'm going to refresh this page, go back inside this tab, we can see right here we get a message event, so it works just fine. If I was to expand this, you get all of the standard um, event uh, properties um, for this event, but the most important thing in this particular case is going to be the data property right here. The data property, of course, contains the data that was sent. Okay, so obviously, very cool stuff right here. Um, so uh, that's how to that's that's the basic usage, of course, uh, right there. Um, I will now be showing you a few different things you can actually send with the broadcast channel API. So it works almost everything. So for example, um, I can say bc .post message. I can pass in here, for example, an array. So 40, 50, 60, and then 70, for example. I might just do e.data directly for this one. I can pass in uh, objects. So for example, you can say here, name as being dumb and age as being uh, 45, very accurate age right there. I um, mean even things like blobs. So we can say bc.postmessage. I'll make a new uh, plain text blob here. I'll say new blob. 
pass in here sample text and this will have of course a type of text slash plain. So we're sending obviously strings, arrays, objects and even blobs and it's all going to work just fine. So I'm going to save this and refresh. Um, let's refresh this one here now. Refresh this, of course nothing gets sent. Uh, so no, uh, nothing appears here. In this tab though, we of course get all of those four things. We get um, I might just refresh this actually, sorry. I'll refresh this, go back inside this tab now, and of course here we see um, the results of the data. So the string, the array, the object, and of course the blob. All right, now I just want to point out that of course, uh, when this tab sent through the data to this tab, um, we don't see the results coming in this tab. So essentially the event listener um, isn't going to fire off um, for the tab which is sending the data, um, of course, because it's sending the data. So um, the event's only going to fire off if the incoming data isn't from the um, the actual tab that this is within. Okay, um, and that is the broadcast channel API in JavaScript. Um, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.